Interesting. Bison Gulch is way shorter of a route. Yes, because you don't have an approach. You go straight up, like right away. 
three hours later, it's like, you've only gone six miles. I'm like, no, I've gone 12. <laughs> All right, so let's just do a quick review and guide on Sugarloaf Ridge Trail. Starting out, if you want to do this trail, you got to know that it's a trek. It's not just a hike or a walk. It's definitely a trail that is more for mountain climbing and endurance trekking but the trail is about four miles long out and back style with about 27 to 3,000 feet in elevation gain what i did was split it up into two days i wanted to camp up on the ridge so i just had my day pack I packed my tent my sleeping bag some food got there in the evening and hiked the hardest section which is the first eighth of a mile and then camped right on the ridge had a beautiful spot to camp and see the sunset it was absolutely beautiful you could probably see how smoky it was or just how hazy it looked that is due to a lot of wildfires that are going on in Alaska right now and so this is kind of just a part of the Alaskan summer but it made for an actual really beautiful night a really cool sunset to be able to see the Sun like that it was very cool the trailhead is a little hard to find there's a hotel up on the ridge right on the side of the mountain where you can drive up to I parked there and the trailhead is behind the maintenance shed to the side of the hotel. Once you break about 2,000 feet, you're gonna find some amazing views in the area. Everything kind of opens up and you begin to see stuff that you would you know, not know was there since you started in the valley. Along the way, you're also gonna be met by a lot of these like chipmunks or like Alaskan, I don't know what they really call them. I've been calling them marmots and there's different types of marmots, I guess, but I've met people who disagree on what they are, but They'll come right up to you. They look like little chipmunks and it makes the trail even more special and a lot fun to hike. So I would rate this trail as like a 3.5 or a four. It's a good trail. I think you're gonna have some difficulty with the beginning section. It's more for experienced hikers, but I would say it's worth doing. I think it's a trail that if you're in the Denali area, you should try to check out. It should be at the top of your list. So thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you get to do this trail yourself. Consider subscribing, like this video. If there's any places that you would want me to explore or any trails you know of or heard of here in Alaska, leave a comment. I would love to check them out. But as always, keep exploring. We'll see you in the next one.